Hello to the nation, Dr. PlayStation Nation here, Jackie has over a little bit of a tutorial style video, guys, a little bit of educational video. Today we're going to be talking about the item that is right in front of me, that it would be the Redstone Comparator. Uh, today this uh, video is going to be teaching you guys about the different modes, the different things that you can do with it, some cool stuff, and uh, pretty much how it's been added to Minecraft 1.5. If you guys would like to see any of these other items that I have, you know, the dispensers, the redstone block, the hopper, any of that, remember to click on uh, the annotation in the top right hand corner of the screen, it'll bring you to a new tab. You guys can check out all of my other Minecraft 1.5 videos, including mods and how to install Forge, all that great stuff. But, um, anyway, it also, I will directly link you at the end of the video so you guys can do that. Also, before I start, guys, I would just like to mention, if you guys want to play on a pretty cool PvP server for Minecraft 1.5, check out mine. It's play.squadcraft.net. I got a cool code to hook you guys up with, too. It's Dr. PSN. That'll get you 5% off any packages over there, so that's something for you guys. But we're over here at the uh, comparator section, uh, showing you guys the comparator, what you can do with it, a few cool things. And um, first of all, we're not going to start off with the comparator. Instead, we're going to start off with the redstone repeater, because that's the closest item that's already existing in Minecraft that a lot of you guys probably know about. It's the redstone repeater. And this is how you're going to craft the redstone repeater. It's just three pieces of redstone. Or sorry, three pieces of stone, a redstone, and then two redstone torches. Again, guys, I apologize if I cough or my voice doesn't sound that great. I am pretty sick right now. But, um... So this is how you're going to craft a redstone repeater, and this is how you're going to craft a comparator. It's very similar, you just change out a piece of redstone for a nether quartz, and then you add another redstone torch. So nether quartz, uh, you can find them in the nether, obviously. Uh, they're very easy to find once you get to the nether, I guarantee you'll find a bunch of them. Uh, very easy to find and very easy to craft. So when you craft it, you're going to get this thing. This is called a comparator, and uh, it basically has two modes. It has normal mode, and it has subtract mode. So there's normal mode, there's subtract mode. Uh, subtract is one of the torches on, obviously. But um, those do some pretty different things, so it's very important that you guys kind of know what they do. So <coughs> again, sorry about that, guys. This thing uh, was working in one of the snapshots. Pretty much it's supposed to be a machine gun, but Basically, what happened was previously in one of the snapshots, the comparator caused redstone updates, which would mean this thing uh, would rapid fire. Uh, it was like machine gun. But now, with the new uh, the final release, uh, they, they had to change that because it messed with some timing issues, and that's pretty much that. But, um, yeah, so it kind of sucks now, but anyway, moving on from that. I'm going to show you guys what the difference is between normal mode and subtract mode. So... This, this comparator right now is on normal mode. Now, if you look at a redstone torch, a redstone torch in any direction is going to output a full redstone signal. Uh, and a full redstone signal, if you guys don't believe me, is 15 uh, pieces of redstone long. So this is a signal strength of 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. This, any block, any piece of redstone after this will not work. If I throw one right there, see, it's, gonna, it's off, it's off. There's no little particles there. Now, the use of a repeater, if I throw a repeater here, the repeater will renew the signal. So, <coughs> sorry about that, guys. The repeater will renew the signal. So now I can go for another 15 blocks. What the comparator does is if I show you right here, the comparator will not renew the signal. So this is a signal strength of 1. If I throw a comparator right here and then throw a piece of redstone here, this still has a signal strength of 1. The repeater will repeat or renew the signal. This will just uh, uh, maintain the signal, if you will. So. That's pretty much what a, a redstone torch outputs a signal of 15, a comparator will will maintain that signal depending on whatever the input is, that's also what the output is. But the cool thing about the comparator is not simply that, not simply that you know, oh cool I can put it next to an object and it can tell how much is in it, it's more about what you can do with this secondary input. So from now we're going to call this, whatever the whatever's going into the back here, this is input 1, and then whatever is over here, this is input 2. So, and then this is our output. So we got input one over here, input two, and then the output. So this, this torch here is outputting 15, a signal strength of 15. So this was 15, this is 14, and this is 13. So input two, we've already, we've already found out that is, it's 13. So it's a signal strength of 13. Then we have this dispenser here, and this dispenser here is full. That means that the signal strength for input one is 15. So this is 15, this is 13, and if we look here, uh, you guys are just going to have to believe me because I don't want to build this, this signal strength is 13. So what normal mode is doing is it's comparing, hence the name comparator, it's comparing this signal and this signal. Now if input 1 is greater than input 2, then it outputs input 1, so it outputs the same signal strength. So right now this is outputting a signal strength of 15. Now if I were to take this out, it's outputting a signal strength of 13 now. 
So this is 13, this is 13. If they are the same, it'll still output a signal strength, and <coughs> that that is uh, that's that's how it works. So it's gonna output a signal strength of 13. Now, if I take out one more, as you guys can see, now it is below 13. This is input two is 13. This is less than 13. So the signal, the output is off. So it's false because input two is greater than input one. Now we're gonna mess around with subtract mode. So that's normal mode. It'll output, you know, if input one is greater, then it'll output input one. But if if input one is less than input two, then it won't output anything. Or if they're equal, it'll still output. Subtract mode does something pretty cool. What it does is it compares both signals the same as before, except now it'll subtract them. So it's actually taking this 13 and subtracting that from the 15 in here. So we're taking 15, we subtract 13, and as you guys can see, there's two right here. So if I were to take out a whole stack of arrows, now this signal strength is 13, this is 13, so the, signal, the output is zero. Now if I take half a stack, that'll turn this into 14, 14 subtract 13 is 1. So there is some basic math involved, I assume most of you guys can do, you know, addition and subtraction up to 15. If we are at the point where, you know, they're both completely different, so say this one is less than that, again, there is no negative redstone, so this is still just 0. But uh, that's pretty much how the, the subtract mode in normal mode works. Now, if we want to apply that to something, we could use something like this. This is called a command block. Now, if we have the command in here, uh, <coughs> crap, that was supposed to be an actual command. I don't, I, why is that why is that broken? Um, okay, well, looks like we're going to have to improvise here because there should have been a, a test4 command in there. So if we get back here, we're going to throw in this test4 command, and we're going to change this for this this block right here and what I think this block is is it's uh, done let's go up here check it so this is 624 57 998 <coughs> or 624 56 928 um, 6 24 56 and uh, 928 yep yeah. uh, or sorry 998 yeah uh, 998 so and then we got a range of three so basically what this command block is doing is every time th this is a one second clock so it'll go off every one second and if I can do that uh, it'll go off every one second and every one second this this command block here is updating as you guys can see it is outputting a signal if I back up it's not <coughs> it's updating it's updating whether there is a person within three blocks of the command block so if I move in here, as you guys can see, now there is a person within three blocks, it's set off that note block there. Now this could be e as easily a piston, it could be a door, it could be a trap, it could be a bunch of things. You're basically, this is a very valuable thing to use the comparator for. Now if I have this repeater here because I only have one person on this world, but if I were to just have a piece of redstone here, it's going to output a signal strength of one. If there was two people here, then it would output a signal strength of two, three, and so on and so forth. But this isn't, you know, a command block video, this is about the comparator. So this is pretty much how that works. It's definitely something cool, again, you know, if I were to give you guys some advice, you could use, you know, subtract mode and you could make it so that if this was a, an adventure map where you needed five people here in order for it to work, you could have a signal strength of five going in, or sorry, of ten, I guess, going in, uh, or sorry, of five going in, sorry, and uh, it would have, or four going in, and then if you had five here, then it would, you know, output and it would be true and all that great stuff. Now, I actually use this for something a little bit more complicated. This is a two tick clock, uh, so every two ticks, or I think one fifth of a second, uh, this is going to check, and as you guys can see, it's going to set off all these notes. Now, you can't hear them because I turned off my Minecraft sounds, but again, these could just as easily be pistons. They could they could be pushing you off of like a ledge or something like that. You know, they could be delayed slightly. There's a bunch of cool things that you can do with it, and I definitely love uh, the comparators for that. I love the test four command, all that cool stuff. But uh, anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you guys did, remember to leave a like rating down below as well. Subscribe to join the nation if you already haven't. Remember to check out my subscriber server or any of the annotations that will appear in a second. And I'm back, guys. So hopefully, again, you guys did enjoy. Hopefully, you guys subscribed to join the nation if you already haven't. You guys can click on screen for any of my videos. The redstone block video, light heavy pressure plates, uh, dispensers, and droppers. Uh, 
you know, all that great stuff, hoppers. Uh, you guys can also click on the left side of the screen, which is going to direct you to my Minecraft 1.5 show, youtube.com slash so slash Minecraft 1.5. Uh, you guys can check that out, check out all of the other videos related, you know, how to build a good TNT cannon, how to, you know, make an automatic potion brewer. But uh, anyway, guys, again, hopefully you did enjoy. Remember to rate the video, it really does help. Check out the Plague.Squadcraft.net server. But anyway, I'm the doctor, and I'm out. Peace.